everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for May 8th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP Club section. That has all the tools you will need to make your picks. So there's a full slate of games. We're going to take a look at four of them for this Sunday. See White Sox, Red Sox, Royals, Orioles. First one you want to look at is the Brewers and the Braves. The Brewers enter burning hot versus ice cold up. You can see that uh, Aaron Ashby is scheduled to pitch for the Brewers. He is 0-2 with a uh, 2.33 ERA, right? but he has a nice bet at plus 135 of the pitcher profit oscillator. The Braves have not yet named their starter. You can see over the last six games, the Brewers are 5-1, whereas the Braves are 2-4. Look at the over-under, the Brewers have been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six, while the Braves have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last four. It's a good indication that this could be a high-scoring game. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see Milwaukee is at plus 23, while the Braves have dropped from plus 13 down to plus 3. The stability factor, how consistent are they playing according to their third underdog status? You can see here that Milwaukee is much more consistent at plus 7, and the Braves here are at minus two. That means they're not performing very well with regards to their favorite and underdog status. The score predictor has the Brewers by a six to five margin with 67% level of confidence. I like the Brewers to win this one on the road by two or three runs in a game going over the line. Mets and Phillies, I'm not gonna take a look at that one. Phillies had a monumental collapse in the, uh, the first game in that series. The Rangers and the Yankees. The next one we want to look at is, let's just scroll down here. You see it's a full slate of games. The next one we want to look at here is Minnesota hosting the Oakland A's. Oakland comes into play dead status. They have lost their last six, while the Twins are average. They have lost their last two, but they are 4-2 and two over their last six. Dalton Jeffries heads to the mound for Oakland versus Joe Ryan for the Twins. Jeffries is 1-4 and four with a 4.81 ERA and has not been a good bet at minus 201. While Ryan is 3-1 and one with a 1.63 ERA and has been a good bet at plus 210 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that Oakland has been involved in games over the line in 4 out of their last 6, while the Twins have been involved in games over the line in 5 out of their last 6, a good indication that this game could go over the line. Let's take a look at the score predictor. The score predictor has Minnesota by a 7-4 edge with 53% level of confidence. That would be a game most likely going over the line. The line has not yet been set as far as the over-under goes. Um, the power rankings indicator shows Minnesota is at plus 20. They were as high as plus 28, while Oakland has dipped considerably from plus 17 uh, as of April 29th down to plus 4. If you look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator, both teams have been moderately consistent. Um, Minnesota more so at plus 7 compared to plus 2 for Oakland. The way I look at this game is I believe that this will be a high-scoring game. I do like Minnesota to win by two or three runs in a game going over the line. The St. Louis Cardinals and the San Francisco Giants. The Giants enter play on a downward skid. You can see they've lost their last four and five out of their last six, and they are dead status. While the Cardinals are burning hot winners of their last two and four out of their last six. Dakota Hudson takes the mound for the Cardinals. He is 2-2 two two with a 3.16 ERA and plus 22 in the pitcher profit oscillator. While the Giants have not yet named a starter for this game. If you consider the over-under, you can see that both teams have been trending in games over the line. Uh, four out of the last six for St. Louis and five out of the last six for San Francisco. On the power ranking indicator... See, the Cardinals were at 27. They dropped considerably to 12, and now they're back up to 15. While the Giants were at plus 23 at the beginning of the month, and they have dipped all the way down to plus 3 because of their recent skid. The consistency factor with regard to the fair underdog stats, you can see it's been up and down. Both teams are on an upward trend now. As of late, Cardinals at plus 4, Giants at plus 3. The score predictor has. The Cardinals in a route 9 to 1 with 64% level of confidence. I tend to agree with that. I like the Cardinals to win very easily on the road 
and in a game going over the line. Washington and Los Angeles, Colorado and Arizona. There's one more game we want to take a look at. is Tampa Bay and Seattle. Seattle enters dead status, losers of their last four and five out of their last six, while Tampa Bay is in the opposite direction, winners of their last four entering burning hot. You can see here that Tampa Bay has won, excuse me, has been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six, and Seattle has been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six. The power rankings indicator shows that Tampa Bay is all the way near the top of the league at plus 28, while Seattle, not a surprise, because of the recent play, they are down to plus two. Pitchers have not yet been named for this game. If we look at the volatility oscillator, how stable are the two teams? Seattle is at plus 13, while Tampa Bay, yes, Tampa Bay is at plus 6. Seattle is much more consistent with performing with regards to their favorite underdog status. They are at home, but they will likely be a road underdog. And Tampa Bay is picked by the score predictor to win by a 9-5 to score with 81.6% level of confidence. I do think this is a game that will be a victory for Tampa Bay on the road in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games that we wanted to take a look at in Major League Baseball for May 8th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.